Hello, my name is Martyr, and welcome to Let's Play Zoo Loretto. We're playing this for International Tabletop Day. And I am not alone. You're never alone. I'm never alone. This Zoo Loretto is a board tile game. It's a very strange game. It's about building a zoo and collecting animals and basically trying to screw every other zookeeper over. You have to build the biggest, baddest zoo for your zoo rumble. It's, yes, it's like, a, it's like a vicious zoo off. It's as if... But it's done with cutesy characters and animation and art. We're going to be playing this for Tabletop Day together. But it's a vicious game to the death. Which a lot of tabletop games are. I'm going to be the nerdy dude with the glasses and the bow tie. And let's get Kitty in there. There's Kitty right there. She's like, actually you look like a Weasley. I'm, I look like a cross between Hermione and a, and a Weasley, yes. Are, are we going to leave the CPU on easy? Yes, please. Do you want to have another CPU involved? No. So just three of us? Just the three of us to the death. Okay. Because we don't have any other friends to play this game with. Uh, we're also going to be, this game has a lot of features to it. There's a lot of things to talk about. We're just going to play the game, get it going. Um, it released, what, I think 2011. Uh, what else do I tell you about this game here? It's a turn-based multiplayer game, or you can play in campaign mode, in which you have to go around and um, basically rescue the animals from horrible zoos around the world. In Egypt, of all places, too. It's and your it's turn. My turn. All right, here's a weird thing: the game was developed according to Steam by Wheaton Game Production House. Nice. Like Will Wheaton. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Although I think that is so. funny. And it was published by Zuloretto. Okay, each turn you can select crates or you can do a money action. I don't really have a money action I can do right now, so I'm going to select a crate and I got a kangaroo. Now basically you have to fill up these trailers and then you can select which trailer you want to put in your zoo. Uh, but where the tactical part comes in is you can screw other people's trailers. You're like, oh, I know she wants that one, so let me throw a big fat elephant on there. Because she doesn't have elephants in her zoo. So this would be, like right here, this would be a great crate for anybody. So I'm actually going to set this one up for you. Aw, that's sweet. Thank you. So that way you get the two kangaroos plus the uh, the cash. I'm going to take this. It, it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's basically essentially a tile collection game. You're basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to fill your entire zoo all with the same animals. Also, you have like these carts that you can put out that add more to your point value. And basically, the, the, the pyramids up on the top left over here is your barn, which is what you want to keep empty as much as possible throughout the entire game. Because everything you have in your barn gives you a point penalty, and the idea is to get as many points as possible before the last round. Right. The money is not what is important here, is the, the point value from your zoo. And you could actually, like, for instance, we'll go to Kitty's Zoo over here right now. Well, you could hit tab, and you can actually see how many points she could earn off of any given enclosure once she fills it up so let's go back to me so is this all mine is this what's going on here so this is all mine okay so i'll take that sure he took hers i guess uh i'll take that i'll take that sure and praise i'm gonna be happy with whatever i get really that's perfect by me that's a tiger tigers lions and bears oh my it's not a tiger it's got spots is it? oh it's not you know what don't don't get smart with me. You know I don't know animals. I don't go outside. It's okay. We'll get you a picture book. It's your turn again. <laughs> I barely recognize those things. We call them, what do we have them called? Cats? Cats, yes. Yeah, cats, right, exactly. Also known as overlords. Overlords. It's my turn. I put a panda on the car. Aw, panda. Pandas. <laughs> and the, a zebra. The game ends when we get down to crate 15. Oh, I shouldn't have put that on there. Oh, sh And then it's kind of determined who gets what. I don't want either of those animals, so forget that. I'm just going to keep drawing. I'm going to put my, my lion. What is that, a lion then? Is that a cheetah? It's a cheetah. It's, it's a cheetah. Spots. Okay, fine. It's a cheetah then. Well, you know what? I am going to take the zebra and the panda. Because right, because zebras, pandas, and kangaroos all make sense in one, in one farm. They all make sense because it's a zoo, and that's where you get to go see all the animals. Why can't we have like aquatic animals? Like we have like this a giant water thing over here. Why I can't we put anything in it? Oh, I bet you me. if we unlock other zoos, Ooh, we could probably do that. She gave me just two, just totally, just handed this to me. Thank you, weird lady, Thank with you, a rain easy. hat. <laughs> Look, she's fishing. By the way, 
She's not only does she have a zoo, but she's also killing wildlife. She's evil. Oh, well then we must take her down. She's killing fish, aquatic fish. She has like a spear. No, that's a fishing pole. It looks like a spear to me. Well, maybe she's making a sustainable zoo and she fishes for food for her animals. Sorry. You might have wanted that, but you know. That's okay. I'm going to expand my zoo. Oh, okay. Smart. Yes, you can expand your zoo and it's something you're going to want to do pretty quickly because um, the more, obviously, the closer you have, the more points you can get. Uh, which I'm actually just going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to copy you. As a vicious tycoon, zoo tycoon. No, no, don't say zoo tycoon because that's a different game. I won't confuse people. But Trademark. As a, yeah, <laughs> don't want to get sued for tabletop day. So yes, the table. This is the tabletop game we chose. We have a lot of other uh, board games we play. Yeah, we, we do. Have, we have zombie dice. What other board games do we have? We have um, we have unspeakable words. I just got for Christmas, which is amazing. Words. Great game. It's a great game. We've got some of the classics. Cards Against Humanity. Battleship, Cards Against Humanity. Um, what the hell is that? That's a monkey. Oh, that's new. We didn't have monkeys last time we it's played. It's a freaking monkey. It's a freaking monkey. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the freaking monkeys, actually, because I kind of want to see them. So I'm going to put uh, You know, this may be blasphemous, but when I go to the zoo, like, the monkeys are my least favorite enclosure. Wow. Well, why? They stink. Wow, you're mean. Monkeys are smelly. I like monkeys. They they fling poo. Yeah, hence the smelly thing. If you think monkeys about it, monkeys are awesome. Monkeys can eat bananas. They have thumbs. That makes them superior. This is a great card for me. That would be a great card for you. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, because you have no choice. Actually, yeah. You have no choice but to take that crate. And basically, the game kind of gets tactical as you start filling up your farm more and more. Not your farm. Zoo. Your zoo. It's not called <laughs> Farm Loretto. No, oh, no. Zoo Loretto. When you fill up your zoo more and more, you can. It starts getting a little more tactical because you can start screwing over your other players and kind of messing with them. You got a crate there for you to move. And you can. It basically starts getting really kind of hectic as your zoo starts filling up more and more because you don't need other pieces, but you want certain pieces and it just gets like, ah! You can also click on your portrait up here, which we probably should talk about this. And you can do things with money, like she mentioned earlier. You can expand your zoo. You can move everything, to do anything in this menu, though, it costs cash. Uh, you can sell things from your barn so that way you can lose that penalty. You can also buy animals from other people if they have an animal in their barn that they want. They have no choice. You can just buy it and take it away from them and la di da So I'm going to continue moving along here. Now we should mention those little carts that are currently out on the truck. Those are like concession carts, and those add bonus points to your enclosures um, when you put them next to your enclosures. You should probably take that one. I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Because that one has a concession cart, some cash, and an elephant, which you don't have. Which so. I don't, and I have room for effluence. Uh, basically, you want to put concession stands as close as possible to uh, more filled up... Um, which I did not zoo, but I... Th but I yeah, but eventually it's not anywhere near the end of the game, so that's okay. I thought the zebras might like some hot dogs. Oh, I got some more... Got some freaking monkeys. It's a monkey. And once you take a truck, it's also... Your turn is officially over. You cannot really do anything else for the rest of the of the turn until everybody else kind of gets done. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh, she might snatch my monkeys. She did not snatch my monkeys. That doesn't sound right. Snatch my monkeys? That sounds dirty. It's still my turn. We... Don't touch the mouse. It's my turn. I want your monkeys. Oh, look at that. I got a whole enclosure. You got a whole barrel of monkeys. Only now... Oh, what the sh... I didn't say mate. You can't stop nature, my friend. You know, you can make another monkey enclosure if you wanted. I just have a shit ton of monkeys. You could be monkey zoo. Why not? Why not? Why not? All right, fine. I'd rather do that than... Then lose the points, yeah. All right, so it's still my turn. The truck ended, pulls away, so a new turn begins, basically. I think they get a good, kind of a rough idea of how this game works. Got Panda. It's your it's, turn. It's a really quick game to pick up. It's a lot of fun. It's not. It's family friendly. Overly difficult. It's which not like is Cards nice. Against Humanity, which is not family friendly. No. Even though we still play that with our kids. Hi, Squirrely. Which we yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the Steam overlay. We can't control it. You can get this game on Steam right now. It's on sale uh, for five ninety nine. Oh, you look at you! You kept an eye on that. I did. I did not. And speaking of Steam, actually, 
in honor of Tabletop Day, we are going to give away a Steam code for this very game. So if you're interested in Zularetto, all I ask is that you comment on this video what your favorite tabletop game is. Maybe it's something you played with your family. Maybe it's something you play now as an adult. Um, I learned about so many board games that I didn't even know existed when I was a kid. Um, I want you to know I just handed you a sweet-ass card. I appreciate that. Um, as an adult, you know, I grew up with the standard games like Candyland and Monopoly and Aggravation, which always caused a lot of fights in my family. <laughs> um, and then as an adult, I discovered Munchkin, which um, is a great game, incidentally. Um, nice. I got a sweet card. That is a great card. So what I would encourage you... In honor of Tabletop Day, and maybe as a regular thing, get together with people, play board games. Check out your local comic shops in your town. A lot of them um, play board games and have tournaments. We have a couple here in town that have board games that you can come and set up and play with other people. They have rooms for it. I think, the, I think another thing that's important to note here is that you can buy board games not only in physical format, which is why we do these. We, you, we play digital board games together. It doesn't necessarily, I mean, yeah, you can have a board game physically and that there's something to that, but you can also uh, just, you know, buy digital ones and play them together as well. Exactly. I remember on, I want to say it was the Nintendo system, there was Clue you could get. Yes, yes. I loved, I loved that playing one. that. I also played that on Sega Channel a lot, actually. Did you? Yeah, I played that a lot on Sega Channel. And it was kind of boring, though, playing it by yourself. It was kind of sad. And I never won because I never got, like, exp no one ever explained the rules to me. So I just sit there and just move around the board while everybody else was doing stuff, the computer mostly. Everybody else was figuring out the crime. Yes. More monkeys! Monkeys! I don't want zebras. Take the zebras away. Oh, she wants the zebras. I actually just kind of set her up. You just good. set her up with a really good truck there. Yeah, I did. I should have not done that. But... Now she's winning. I... That's my noise for I don't know what I'm doing. Man, I got... These monkeys just, like, freaking love my, my zoo, man. I keep saying farm. <laughs> <laughs> they keep humping. Well, they're monkeys. Oh, my God. Oh, monkeys. They're just... I'm going to have to, like... We're, like, way far away from the 15th crate. If I fill up my zoo, what do I do? Uh, you start to take point penalties. Crap, I don't want that. Well, then play Psst. carefully, my friend. Stop humping, monkeys! Oh, frustrating, these monkeys. That's so, yeah, we're going to get with the game. Uh, you want to give a little more context to time frame or anything like that? Well, um, well, obviously you can start commenting today and... By next Saturday, I will choose a winner at random based on people who gave responses. I'll roll a dice. A and, dice. A die, sorry. And um, we'll choose our winner. So if you're interested, like I said, comment. Let me know what your favorite game is. Let me know a game you played with your family. Let me know what game you play now. And then they can be playing Zularetto like us right now. And then they can be enjoying Ambitious Zularetto. Vicious death match of zoos. Yeah. Right, it's a zoo turn. rumble. Kind of reminds me of fierce creatures, like a zumble. <laughs> a zumble. Do you have elephants? I do have elephants. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be nice. I, I just because you know I'm sleeping with you. I'm gonna give you that cart. Shh! They're not supposed to know that. They're gonna think I'm, I'm, sleeping my way to the top of the YouTube's. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's right. See, I just filled it's my me, enclosure here. PewDiePie. And that, yeah, that's the top right there. You should sleep with PewDiePie. Well, lucky for you, I'm not attracted to PewDiePie. I know, he's, a, he's an attractive man. He's Swedish. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just like you better. Oh, uh, I got zebras. I, I'm going to have to take a point penalty. Should I keep drawing? Yes, because I got, I got pandas and tigers. So that was actually, you know what? It, while it did suck, kind of, I did get kind of a sweet... Deal out of it. I'll have to put the zebra in the, the barn, though. But, you know what? There, I do have something I can counteract that with, which is fat cash, and just sell the stupid zebra. So, if I like, if I go over here, I can sell him from the barn. Boom, he's gone. You think you'd earn money for selling your animals, not lose money for I, selling your animals. 
I guess the international zoo community looks down upon selling your animals. That's because I'm selling them to McDonald's. <gasps> um, oh, no. Zebra burgers. I wonder, if they, wonder what zebra tastes like. I don't know. There's there's some restaurant I saw on the Food Network that serves all kinds of meat. Zebra included, I believe. Oh, Kangaroo, God. zebra, buffalo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that place. That was awesome. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd go there. I'm... I'm more of a regular I, meat and potatoes kind of gal. I'm not real interested in um I thought you were gonna say guy. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> dun, dun, <laughs> How did dun, I dun. not see that? <laughs> uh, I'd eat a zebra. Why not? They, they seem delicious. I'm gonna take this cart because it's a tiger and a cart. You're welcome. But I do appreciate that quite a bit. So I'm gonna put them next to my other monkeys. Your monkeys. And that enclosure is officially full. I am up to 24 points. I'm rocking this game. Yeah, until you have to start filling up your barn. Shh. No. <laughs> I'll just take, like, try to skip as much as possible. Ha ha, she can't take those elephants. No, she can't. But, but I can. Oh, yes, you can. Take the elephants. 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 All right, so. This game does have a, a single campaign mode. Oh, they had a baby. Oh, my gosh. It's Dumbo. Aww. Yay. It's going to make me cry. Why? Because you're going to sell, sell that, it to the circus? No, that, that song when when she when when she's locked up for going all rogue. and Rogue? That's what they call them. They call them rogue elephants. They go in rogue? They go rogue. In the indie genre, that means something else. <laughs> something good. All right, I'm going to get some cash. Oh, could you please not take this one for me, computer? Please. Actually, you could use that one, too. I could. Because you're just starting to fill up there. Yeah, I'm going to. You know what? You're not very nice. Put it under your elephant. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry I burped. <laughs> Energy drinks. Actually, I'm just drinking Mountain Dew. Oh. Uh, I, was, I was trying to mention earlier before you interrupted me with your elephant uh, thing. This game does have a single player campaign. It actually has quite a, a number of neat features. It doesn't support online multiplayer. So it is kind of focused for local multiplayer. I hate to say it. I don't see how this could have a online multiplayer aspect. I don't see. Sure it could. You could play with other people. That's that's the entire point. Sh sure. But um, what are you going to be? You can't kill the other zookeepers like literally. Not like, no, play it competitively against them. But the point is, it doesn't have that. But it does have a lot of the features. You can like buy uh, expansions with in-game currency, which is amazing. You don't have to actually buy any DLC yourself. It's kind of it's kind of actually really neat. You basically play more matches. You earn like this weird in-game currency, which is I forget what it's like, monkey coins, or I forget what it was. And you can buy things in the game, like portraits, like the one, the the, the Weasley one she has up there. She actually purchased that. Uh, you can buy expansions, you can buy different kinds of boards, there's a single player campaign. There's a lot of neat stuff here. I don't need any of these, and I am terrified right now. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm going to buy a panda. Oh wow, you were rocking this. Look at you. 36 points. All my enclosures are full. You guys have to fill all your enclosures to catch up. Mm-hmm. But you know, you could do it because you have a pretty sweet setup there. Yeah. Either way, I'm going to end up with an extra zebra, it looks like. Yeah. Well, there's still... Well, we're actually five crates away from the end of the game here, so... That's true. Uh -oh. When you hit down to 15 crates, that triggers the last round. And then whoever has the most points after the last round is the winner. Okay, so at this point, I'm trying to screw you and the computer over. <gasps> no offense. I thought you loved me. Yes, but you're in my way of total zoo domination. See? See how you are? So you want that. You don't want that one. You want this one. Which one do you, I want? Where you want? I'm trying to figure out which one you want. So that way I can mess you over. So I'm going to put it on that one. I don't know if that was the one you wanted or not. I just guessed. You know what? Get you. I'm taking this one. Ugh. I was hoping you draw again and drag it out more. <laughs> nope. Okay. Please don't put one on the first one. Of course you did. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? And the tables have turned. Okay, so I'm going to just... 
I'm just gonna take these tie. I'm sorry, these cheetahs, mm -hmm. uh, because there's really no. I'm not gonna want to draw again because that'll just backfire on me. I, I took a couple of points. Well, it's not like that it really sucked. hurt you. Come it on, did. it sucks. Now my zoo is imperfect. I need to have a perfect zoo. All of my proverbial ducks in a row, or, or literal ducks. ducks in a row. Yeah, or literal <laughs> ducks in a row. Uh, you know, that's weird. I pay to go to a zoo, and I love watching the ducks that just live there naturally because they fly by and decide to live there. I've got so many pictures from SeaWorld and San Diego Zoo of ducks that are not actually part of the zoo, but they're just... I'm like, yay, ducky! Wait, wait, wait. wait. You like ducks, which are mean, but you don't like monkeys. Monkeys are mean, too. Ducks are meaner. No, you just run into ducks more often, that's all. Actually, they're leopards. It just said leopards. Like we are both wrong. <laughs> I like the mighty ducks. Oh, well. They're nice. Especially that Emilio Estevez guy. He's dreamy. Well, he was in the 90s. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what's going on. I'm not paying attention anymore. What's going on? We're loading up carts with monkeys and cash. Monkeys and cash. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to just take the effluent and take the point. I'm not going to really gain anything. I'm not going to really lose anything. Um, basically, we're done after your turn. These two, are, these two are done. I'm pretty sure I've locked the victory. I got 32 points. Unless you can pull out a panda, two pandas out of your butt, and some carts, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. Mm. You're just forcing the computer to just take one of those. Yep, I am. Oh man, I didn't know she needed an elephant. Uh, it's okay. Uh, You're still second place. I'm gonna take monkeys. Yes. Yeah. Careful, they like to hump. They're humping monkeys. Is that like a type of monkey? <laughs> yeah. And another board game. Humping monkeys. No, jumping monkeys. Oh, my bad. Which is another game we have that gives my son a panic attack every time we play it because he has to pick the monkeys up off the floor, like in between rounds, and he's running around, don't shoot the monkeys! I also want to note one thing before we wrap up this video and end this, which has been a blast. Uh, this We did a couple of practice sessions. This is my first time winning. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm just very proud of this right here. This 32. I'm very happy with it. I'm glad you're happy. All right, so why don't you... Okay, so it's piggy coins. That's what they are. It's like piggy coins. And with this, you can buy stuff in the game. And it kind of gives you a roundup of how you did and how your zoo stacks up against everybody else's. There's a big gold trophy for that awesome winner guy. What's his name? Oh, yeah, it's Martyr. That's true. I ween. Mr. Panda approves. Did you see him smiling at you? Yes, I did. And I just want to quick before we call this and end this. Whoops. I went too far. I want to show you guys the... Um, actually, no, I did not. Okay, so that's actually perfect. I want to show the uh, things you can purchase with this game. Just some of the different features in the game. Like I said, you go to my zoo. You can buy characters. You can buy add-ons. Uh, you can buy zoo parts. You can buy a whole bunch of stuff with this game. It has a lot of features. I think it's really neat. Uh, could, they could just have included the board game and that was it. I mean, no one's going to expect anything more from a board game game. But there's a campaign, there's there's all that extra stuff. You can play with other people, there's rankings, which I don't exactly understand. Oh, it's rankings against local players. It seems like it wanted to have multiplayer, but like they didn't make it. I don't know, it's weird. Why would it have rankings? Well, to encourage comp competitive um, playing in your own family so that you can foster the seeds of animosity All right. that ruin Thanksgiving. Well, why don't we remind people how to enter the giveaway one more time, and then we'll wrap this up. In okay, to enter the giveaway, comment on this video. Let us know what your favorite board game is. You do need to be a subscriber, so if you've not subscribed, go ahead and click that shiny button. It's very much appreciated. It's red. It's red. Shiny red button. And next Saturday... We will go ahead and announce the winner of a copy of Zularetto. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go out there and play some games, you guys. It's International Tabletop Day. That's very true. Get people together. Find a group of people to play with at a comic shop. Find a way to bring some board games into your life. It's fun. It's relaxing. And it's a good way to get to know people. And I want to mention this. Uh, will Wheaton's Tabletop Season 3 needs your help. They need crowdfunding, you guys. If you go to Tab ilovetabletop.com. If you've not seen Geek and Sundry, you need to go watch Tabletop right now. Absolutely. We're doing this today inspired by Will Wheaton and Felicia Day and their love of board games. 
Um, you can check out the website. You can check out Geek and Sundry. It'll give you information on Tabletop Day. It'll give you information on the Tabletop Show. And their um, crowdfunding of Season 3 of Tabletop, which we definitely want to see happen because it's Absolutely. a great show. It brings together the most random people to play games together. People you wouldn't think would play board games. It's, it's an amazing show. So check it out. Support it. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. We're going to call it here. Um, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Take it easy, guys. Have fun at International Tabletop Days. We'll see you next time. This has been Let's Play Zularetto.